Hi everyone, welcome to the second module of Apache Tomcat. In this module, we are going to discuss about a web application fundamentals and here is our agenda for this module. Now, first of all, we will discuss uh, what is basically web application, then we will discuss the basics of web application, then we will uh, discuss an overview of Java servlers and Java uh, JSP, and then we will summarize uh, this module. So Let's uh, get started and see what is basically a web application. As you uh, know, that web application uh, is a basically a, a software uh, program that run on a web server, and uh, it uh, it can be accessed by user uh, through web users and over the internet web, when we talk about a web application basically it's a piece of code or a software that is uh, fulfilling a certain uh, requirement like if you are making a website web application basically related to your online store then um, on that store basically you are uh, uploading different product for your um, uh, for e-commerce platform making an e-commerce platform that's uh, basically portal is an example of a web application uh, a web application uh, can be uh, developed for uh, several uses uh, uh, which can be used uh, by anyone like it can be used by an individual or a, or a whole organization for for several reasons in general a web application can uh, contain all online shops as we did e-commerce store and different uh, other uh, um, complex uh, application like social media application facebook.com uh, twitter.com is an example of a web application then further um, we can uh, discuss the example of a web application like amazon.com alibaba.com these are the uh, major, uh, main examples of our web application basically where um, we uh, provide different services um, basically uh, there are some kind of web application that usually require some kind of uh, web browser to access them um, basically uh, however most of the web application available on the internet and can be accessed using any standard uh, browser uh, if you talk about the web application in general basically uh, web applications usually use a combination of a uh, server side and a uh, uh, client side combination basically um, we will discuss these detail about what is a server side and what is a basically a client side um, the basic flow of a web application is a user uh, send a request to web server the web server basically uh, using uh, by the client or user will send that request by using a browser over the internet and then the request will be forwarded to the web server um, web server basically um, uh, perform different operations against that request like showing data or get a list of details or user data and then uh, after processing of that particular data it will send the response back to the user on a browser basically that's a basically a flow of a web application um, web application basically allows user to communicate uh, with the, a web server for different services like uh, we are going to uh, order different products uh, add to cart and uh, check out and login and logout related information that can be um, done by using a web application apart from the web application um, also allows its user to create document share them and um, basically share other information by using web application um, we can collaborate on the same uh, projects by even when they are not available on the same geographical location basically we, we can use internet and access th that particular uh, application from anywhere in the world um, let's summarize um, basically what is a uh, crux of a web application basically web application is a software program piece of a code written by different uh, languages then uh, it basically runs on web server then the third one is uh, main point is it uh, web 
applications are usually developed by using programming languages like java asp.net python there are different um, basically programming languages that can be used uh, for developing web application now let's see a real world example of what a web application for better understanding uh, let's navigate to browser and uh, see the actual example of a web application here uh, we have a very famous application like it's uh, linkedin.com basically no that that's a uh, basically a uh, whole web application let's quickly uh, uh, see the different modules available in that particular web application first of all we have a home basically it's basically showing the different posts uh, of different companies then we have a tab for my network and then we have a basically full fledged application of um, for of, uh, my job and messaging for communicating each other then we can create a new request for uh, or send messages by using this platform basically this is an example uh, of a web application like you can also um or know about the facebook.com and twitter.com uh, here's another example uh, we are going to sell is a fiverr.com basically the uh, uh, is also a web application whole web application where people um people post uh, different kinds of uh, jobs here different requirements uh, the user basically um, uh, enter the different uh, services, provide different services by making gigs. That's a particular example of a web application. Basically, uh, we can use it for for different purposes. Basically, that's a uh, example of the web application. Now we are going to discuss about the uh, different uh, tiers of or basics of a web application. Basically, web application functions uh, in uh, this way like uh, we have a front end then back end and data what are these uh, different uh, terminals let's um, discuss these uh, one by one basically uh, web application basically follows a three tier structure as we discussed front end back end and then the uh, database um, it's important to um, important uh, because uh, it has to separate the different elements of a software application by separating these these components the application can be designed to be more efficient and secure it also basically makes uh, easier for uh, for uh, administrator to maintain and extend over time you know, what will be included in the front end the front end part basically as we just saw an example of a web application we navigate to linkedin.com and fiber.com that's a basically a uh, view uh, in front of us on a browser is an example of a front end basically front end is a basically and um, basically uh, for end user to use that particularly it's basically responsible for uh, visual aspects of the web application uh, such as the design of uh, user interface ui and the layout of the screen and the navigation as we dis uh, discussed in the previous that's a basically example of a front end now let's discuss the as we as we know uh, the web applications are developed by using the programming language um uh, backend plays an important role here on the backend we use different uh, programming language to or uh, to basically um to define a business logic here it's a basically backend is a business logic it's responsible for logic and process of that web application that need to perform uh, this include the processing of user input data manipulation and execution of business like um, on, uh, on a basic amazon.com we have a, a we have a, a sign up a, a registration and sign in page that's basically process the user information on the facebook.com we have a, a registered and login page that basically gets the information from the user user input then process the information and save and store on on its end basically uh, the third tier we have inside our web application is basically uh, related to the database this layer basically is responsible for persistent data storage and retrieval of data when needed as you can see on the fiber.com uh, uh, you can uh, you have uh, seen you have seen that there is a different uh, uh, type of data available on that particular web that's a basic example of persistent data so that's uh, uh, the data is uh, the, that particular site uh, site is showing data from its database uh, it's a persistent storage and retrieval of data when we want to check that data or view that 
that data is typically composed of uh, you know, database and another data source such as files and website particularly database uh, different kinds of database we will discuss those like relational database not relational database that's basically a uh, third tier which is related to the persistent story and it's a database um uh, here it's important to understand the difference between a web application and a website basically uh, while the line might appear blurry there are in fact uh, difference um in these two terms are uh, web apps and websites have different uses uh, user need and expectation basically websites are typically designed to provide a user information or accept basic input from the users basically uh, for static content we use the websites on the other hand uh, when we want to show a dynamic content web application uh, basically are designed to be more interactive and the dynamic that's a basic overview of um, basically uh, a three tier website application uh, architecture front end back end and then the database uh, now uh, we are going to discuss um, uh, about the some particular terminologies and basics uh, related to the uh, to the java basically as we are going to uh, basically um, then apache tomcat which is particularly designed to host java based applications so it's, an, it's necessary to understand the uh, basics uh, concepts of java like java servlet and jsp and th now we are going to cover that uh, and uh, the next uh, is uh, basically an overview of what is a java servlet servlet and a java server page basically also known as jsp when we discuss about the uh, java servlet uh, basically java servlet is a web component that is uh, deployed on the server to create dynamic uh, web pages a servlet in a uh, is a java programming language class that is used to extend the uh, capabilities of servers that host application and, and the, those application are accessed by means of a request and response programming model or lifecycle. Um, all those uh, servlets can respond uh, to any type of request. Uh, there are, are commonly used to extend the applications hosted by the web. So let's understand uh, uh, is a servlet uh, in this way. A uh, servlet basically is an uh, API that provides many interfaces and classes uh, including documentation uh, you can collect input from user uh, through web pages like sign up form registration form contact us form uh, and present record from the database to another source or create a web pages dynamically um, java servlets are java classes uh, run by a web server uh, that has an interpreter that support the java servlet uh, uh, specifications it can be created using the uh, java x servlet or java x servlet dot http package which are the standard part of java uh, java different editions uh, and uh, and expanded version of the java class library that supports uh, large scale uh, development project we will discuss those uh, technical terms related to java in our upcoming modules <laughs> For now, uh, for now, uh, Java servlets uh, that have been created and compiled just like any other Java class. Uh, after uh, uh, you will install install Java servlet package uh, at uh, into your computer basic class path, and you can compile servlet with the JDK uh, compiler and other uh, other available uh, compiler. Basically, uh, the servlet basically provide different interfaces for 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 the dynamic content creation basically it's a class uh, provided by the java now we are going to discuss what is java server page